right and next, another one of what the and Jimmy Burns. One of the most successful bands in the country, Cold Chisel. They're now back together with a live tour and album, Ringside. Please welcome their lead singer, Jimmy Barnes! <laughs> Hi, team. <laughs> you look fantastic. I feel ridiculously well. Yeah, that's good. It's been such a long time since we've seen each other. What yes. have you been up to? Uh, busy, busy as hell. I, um, we uh, got the chisels back together in June. Yeah. We've done a bunch of shows in Sydney. Um, uh, and it was just so much fun, we thought we'd take it on the road. So we've been, been getting that together. We've got a live album that we, we, we sort of recorded in June. Uh, besides that, I've just been you know, out terrorising the country as usual, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do when you go out terrorising? And I go and scream at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, that's you know, my job. It's good. Um, I go out and um, you know, I just get on the road and have a good time. And uh, you know, go out there and you know, my job is to make people think it's uh, Saturday night, everybody night of the week. You know, so great job. And when when a band like Chisel, when when you do end up going your separate ways, is it hard to get yourselves all back together and reform? Uh, no, not really. You know, it's um, like t today was the first day of rehearsal. You know. Uh, uh, and uh, we uh, sort of got in there and realised how much we'd forgotten, uh, <laughs> which was good. But, uh, but after you know, an hour or so of, uh, of, of you know, sort of bashing songs around, you know, it was all sort of all coming back to us, you know, it's good. It's a, it's, a, it's a great rock and roll band, it's sort of dead easy to, you know, just, you know, it's natural, you know. And, when, and uh, the shows have already sold out. You've actually had to release yeah, new release shows because of such yeah. a success. Does it surprise you? Is it, is it pleasing to know, I mean, you guys getting back together, that the, the fan base is still there for Chisel? Uh, you know, it's, it always surprises us, you know, because, uh, you know, let's face it, I mean, we actually got together 30 years ago to start with. Uh, and, you know, but the fact that, you know, that, like I said, it's a good rock and roll band. We get out there and we still, you know, kick ass, basically. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm surprised that, you know, we still pull punters, you know. It's funny, Jackie, my son, a bunch of his mates, so, you know, at school, they're all sort of chisel fans and they're all sort of 16 and 17. And, you know, just sort of, it's a bit of a shock to me, but, you know, I guess, uh, you know. What is it like when you must look out at the audience and see, you know, I don't know, there's probably fathers or mothers bringing their, their children to a Chisel concert who are fans as well. Yeah, you know, this time we had, uh, in June, we had people who were, who, you know, were at the last stand in 1983 bringing their kids, you know, to the, to the show. And you'll probably see the kids sort of going, what, you know, what the hell are you bringing me here for? <laughs> no, but it was great, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting thing to see, you know, because you see people who are, who, are, who are kids going off and then you'll see, like, you look around and you pan to someone in the audience and there's sort of this, this woman with blue hair, you know, sort of, you know, <laughs> headbutting the guy next to her, you know, and, <laughs> and going off. It's, it's great. No, it's full on. And how did, you talked about the, the fact that you all started 30 years ago. How does the, the chisel then compare to the chisel now? Uh, phew, I don't know. I think, I think we're a, a bit better as a band, uh, you know. I mean, um, I, jo I joined Cold Chisel when I was about 16 and a half and, um, and it was, you know, pretty full on. Uh, you know, for about 30 years, uh, you know, we've been, you know, all individually and as a band, we've been on the road, just sort of, you know, like I said, you know, kicking ass. But coming back after all that time, uh, you know, the, the, I've got to say the band's a better rock and roll band. It's a, uh, you know, we all play better, we, we you know, we sing better, uh, you know, we're uh, much more capable of, you know, we've got great songs, we've got the, the benefit of having, a, you know, the, the history of all the albums, you know, to mm. sort of play. You know, I remember doing the first shows and we, you know, you know, just like any garage band, you know, you get up there and you'd say, you know, you'd play three songs and then you go, okay, what are we going to play now, you know? <laughs> Shall we play the first one again, you know? Uh, you know, so let's play that song we wrote, you know? Um, so, you know, it's, it's really, it's great. It's great to have the history of all the repertoire to go out and, uh, and, uh, and, you know, and draw from, you know? And the shows are about, you know, three and a half hours long, three hours long or something. So, yeah, that uh, must be exhausting for you all. It's all right, it's good, you know? I mean, uh, the, the rock and roll shows run on the energy of the audience anyway, you know? So uh, we just get out there and... Uh, and you know, it, it doesn't seem like three hours, you know. We're, and we, you know, in that, in that sort of time, we're doing I don't know, sort of thirty-five to forty songs, you know. Uh, and there's still songs that people go, "Why didn't you play, you know, such and such?" Mm. And the songs that we had to sort of weigh up and drop out. So it's it's, uh, it's it's great, you know. It's a lot of fun. So with the with the new album out now, you've got the the tour happening as well, and I've heard another album on the way. Yeah, we're talking about it. Yeah, um, the DVD as well. Yeah. Well, does this mean? 
Chisel is officially back together? Is this just a, like a one-off thing for the tour and album? Ah, who knows? You know, Cold Chisel is a, is a weird beast. It could, I could say yes right now and then go outside and get a phone call and say, no, it's all off again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, you know, it's a volatile band. Mm. It's one of those bands that, you know, um, the, uh, p part, of the, p part of the reason why people like it is because it's very intense, it's very, uh, it's very full on, and, and it, we can be going along great and rocking our asses off and then be, you know, at each other's throats the next minute. And that's part of the, the attraction of the band too. That's what, that chemistry, that volatility of the, you know, between the players is what makes the band exciting on stage. So, yes, uh, you know, I, I can see the band doing lots of stuff for, for a while, you know. Well, I hope so. The latest album is uh, Ringside. It's out now. And if you want to go and see them, uh, well, let's it's see. they happening <laughs> everywhere. And right through, you've extended now from the, the 28th through to the, the end of January, 31st yeah. of January yes. now. So uh, just check your local guides, catch them if you can. Cold chisel. Jimmy Barnes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Always good to see you, Jimmy. Take it easy, mate. This is what we're coming up, guys. Sebastian, Miss Piggy, the Cat Empire. Next, our next swim challenge, my charade with Alison White and Blair McDonough. Don't go away. Yeah.